This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this segment, let's have some fun. Let's create our very own customized transition using a shape generator, just like this. That's what I want. I want my image to come out in that oval. How do we do that? Let's start by coming over here to our blank sequence. Let's move down our graphic right here. Put it on our timeline. So there's our graphic that we want exposed using our own transition of an oval. We need to come back over here, click the magic button right there, and go down to shape. And in shapes, you have circles, ovals, rectangles, and squares. We're going for an oval on this one. Click oval right there. We need to work with it while we're watching it with our image. So before we do anything else, let's first of all cut the time down. This clips out at 10 seconds. Most effects run one, two seconds, maybe even three. We'll go by three. So I'm going to click up here, type in the number three, and press the semicolon and press return. If I had not added the semicolon, it would have only been three frames. By adding the semicolon, I'm telling it I want it to be three seconds. Let's drag it down here. And let's put it right at the front. That's exactly where we want it to be. Make sure your arrow is facing down. So we've got it there. Right now, it looks just like that. We'll correct that in a second. Remember, we're working with it up here. We need to make sure that this one is loaded. Double click on it down here. First thing let's look at is in controls, is we have a size. And if you'll notice, we can change the size. And we want to do that. But let's do this first. I need to work with the timeline over here. That little white line that you see right here, that's my three seconds. I can't put anything on there. I need to make that area bigger. I'm going to pick up my zoom tool, and I'm actually going to click over here, and it allows me to expand that area. And now I've got plenty of room to work with. Don't forget you can zoom in on a timeline. Let's go back here. What I want to do is at the beginning, so at the very beginning of our sequence down here, let's go ahead and move our timeline to the front. I need a keyframe here, and then I need a keyframe at the end. Actually, let's do this too. Let's move that over a little bit and expand this out so we can see the whole thing. There we go. So this is the whole area that we zoomed in on. The easiest way to put a keyframe somewhere, and we've done this a couple of ways, is to put your playhead exactly where you want it and to click this button right here. So we're doing this just on the size one. We click here, size. I'm going to move the size down to the smallest oval I can get. Now I'm going to go to the end. And let's go one in from the end. I use the left arrow key to push it one frame in. And I'm going to click that button here for another keyframe. And I'm going to make it as big as I can. As you can see when we run it, that's exactly what I want. I want it to expand out just like that. But the problem is I can't see the image. Let's do this too. Let's go back into a range standard. Put our screen back together again. Why? Well, that's pure white and that's pure black, and you can't see through those things. What I want to do is show you something a little bit ahead of a lesson that we're going to get into called compositing. What I need to do is make the white and the black different. I need them to react differently to an image underneath. It's called compositing. If I come down here and right-click my mouse on that graphic, and I come down and I go into composite mode, You've got a lot of different things in here. The one we want for this one is multiply. And watch what happens to the image when I do that. Think of it this way for now. When you use multiply on a pure white, it goes away. The black is still there. Well, watch what happens when I scroll. Now, there's one other thing. Since we can't get the oval down any smaller easily, I really don't want it to start here. I want it to start pure black. So I need to move this graphic just one frame forward. It's an easy way to do this. Select it, reach over on your keyboard and press the number one, and it'll have the move by one. Press return, you've moved it by one. Now you can't see it. And watch what happens when I press the space bar to play it. Exactly what I want creating our own customized transitions using shape generators.